Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Sully Pones, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. In the last episode, we found the third star cure, and with its powers, we used it to cure the Blorps here in the Mushroom Kingdom. So today, we are going to be making our way to Peach's Castle and hopefully stopping Fawful once and for all. Not in this episode, of course, but you get the idea. So anyways, guys, before we begin, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me. Let's try to get this episode to over 1,500 likes, because if we can, the next episode of this game will be posted immediately. I need you guys' help, because I'm trying to finish this LP before December 4th, the day where Paper Jam comes out in Europe, and we are getting really close to that date, and we still have uh, a lot to do before we can actually say we completed this game. So, unfortunately, on my own time, I ended up doing that whole little thing where, you know, the Miracle Cure comes out and breaks down uh, the blockade that was uh, blocking Peach's castle. It penetrated through the walls and just broke it all down, which was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I had no idea I was, uh, like, playing my actual actual LP file, so I ended up saving, and yeah, you guys unfortunately aren't going to see any of that, and unfortunately too, I know I've been saying it a lot, but as you can see, I also did a little bit of exploration here in Peach's Castle, look at this, I have uh, a solid few rooms open, one, two, three, four different rooms open, so I am very sorry about that, like I said, you know, I, I had no idea I was playing through my LP file, but I, I unfortunately was, so... Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to pretend like this is brand new for us. I'm gonna give you guys my first reaction for the Oh my god guys, it's Peach's castle. Look at this. There's a nice block up there that we can't grab I never really liked Peach's castle in this game. It always seemed off like it just seemed different than a Peach's castle It didn't seem like Peach's castle at all to me, and that's that's just strange. It seems like it's very complicated to get around and it actually is like unless you played this game multiple times uh, It's it's a pretty complicated castle to get your head around. It's it's not as bad as the uh, The Shroop castle and Mario and Luigi pa partners in time. I just remember that actually right now I remembered how terrible Shroop castle was in partners in time. It was really bad super confusing super dark And it wasn't a good it wasn't a good time at all This castle is actually pretty similar the only castle that I would have to say that I greatly enjoyed playing through was uh was the one in Dream Team and I guess Superstar Saga, but Dream Team was just super nice. It seemed like legit Princess Peach's castle. They did an outstanding job in that castle. Um, and it makes me very excited for the one in Paper Jam because at least from the trailers, like most of them were revolved around Peach's castle and it looks really nice. So I can't wait to see how that game turns out. But anyways, um, I'm going to try to unlock all the rooms here so that way you guys have a good idea of what's going on here and whatnot. Uh, there are going to be attack pieces and beans in this area as per usual. Unfortunately, I don't know where any of these things are. So we're just going to have to guess and whatever I find on the way throughout these upcoming videos, I'm just going to obtain. I'm not going to go out out of my way to find anything besides the attack pieces so like items or beans you guys are just gonna have to I don't know watch something else or watch me not do that because I, I don't want to do it honestly um, I might go back like I've been thinking honestly like after this LP is done just to bring you guys a ton of bonus episodes where I just complete the rest of the side quests in the game even though there aren't that many like in dream team there's still quite a bit of side quests that I would rather show off in the game um, Rather than not showing them off at all. So like the challenge note, for example, I want to do that on like the thing in Dream Team. Because in Dream Team, it was, I think it was called the, um, the something ring. It was something ring and I never ended up doing it. Even though I wanted to do it so badly, I never, I, I never ended up getting to do it. So I, I want to do it with challenge note this time around. I want to make sure that I do it. Oh, and there's also these little things that you can walk around that will take you from one area to the next. Um, and this is how you actually get the first little attack piece. You just take Mario, bring him up here, and that will give you five, six, what? Oh my god. Yo, I for a second thought it was going to give me all of them. Seven attack pieces at once. There are only three left to go. Hey, 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 hey! What's happening here? Are those the Koopas? Oh my gosh, they are the Koopas, man. You lot look chipper. That's right, good news. So, the way to the shells. Are you savoring it, hey? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'd love to give y'all a pass, but I got lots to hold my turf. I hate these guys, man. I hate the way they talk. It's so confusing. It makes me feel like my IQ drops by two standard divisions every time I read these guys' dialogue. That block you lot whacked. It were pretty pricey, hey? Gore, all seven of them pieces. That was all ours. Well, too bad, man. Now it's mine. Give them here. Give them here. That's all they say, man. Those guys, give them here. Oh, we ain't saying that. Nah. We wouldn't say such that, hey? Heh <laughs> Hey. Hi. Ow, my belly, it hurts. 
Oh, what could it be ailing you, hey? The pain hurts. My stomach's got a case. Oh, Punk's got me seven pieces, is it? Okay, seriously, I don't know what these guys want. What do you want? Do you want seven pieces back? Because that's not going to happen, man. You guys have to find different attack pieces. My boy's in poor shape. You lot need help, hey? How about some coins for medical expenses, hey? Um, yeah, we're, we're not charity cases, man. We don't, we don't, we want to do that. Play another game, hi? Uh, let's do that. We can play another game. Coins make the world spin round, don't they? So, if you got a bunch of coins, you get to buy whatever. And you get to buy happiness. Uh, that's not true. I can vouch, man. Va money does not buy happiness. If you have a really nice car and you're depressed, you're still going to be depressed. Sure, you can be depressed in your nice car, but you're still going to be depressed at the end of the day. Money doesn't change the fact that you're happy or sad, you know? I could speak on behalf of celebrities who, you know, commit suicide on that, which is really sad, considering they have all the money and power in the world, and they still feel unhappy in life to the point where they take their own lives, which is extremely sad. And it goes to show you how serious depression can actually be. Um, how, how, like, if you're not happy, no amount of money or people or just anything can buy that happiness for you, which is crazy. Hey, 30 coins ain't much cash at all. What? Hang on. Wait a tick. What do they want from me, man? Oh, this is big time, old boys. 30 coins don't phase them a bit. They look right shabby, but maybe they're celebrities. Hey, we're a celebrity, dude. 300 coins? Dude, come on. They're trying to con me from 30 coins to 300 coins. 60 tasty mushroom teas. This lot will never pay that much. See if I'm wrong. Say you give us 300 coins. Sure, man. I'm a kind guy. I'll, I'll give you 300 coins. Oh, like it were nothing. Tossing around 300 coins like it ain't no never mind to them. Celebrities. Coins, coins. Can I get the rest of the attack pieces? We can take this. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, me. Huge that is. Oh, we better give them something back or we're a bunch of charlins. Uh, the last three attack pieces. Yes, I'll do. I, I want them. Oh, she's going to show them to me on the map. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm not gonna lie. I actually legitimately forgot how to obtain all the attack pieces in this game. Uh, at least uh, in Peach's Castle. Um, this would be like a really good time to pull out my phone and take a picture of this to remember the exact area. But unfortunately, I can't find my phone. So I'm gonna have to just memorize it just by looking at it. So I'm gonna just stare at it. Okay. Um, there and there. It just sucks because that area that I'm looking at doesn't actually have an unlocked, so it's going to be hard to differentiate where that exact area is, but... What? More details? Can you just put them on the map for me? Just pin them. The thing is, three paces, they're invisible blocks. We put them in invisible blocks so nobody might pinch them. That were right smart, hey? But here's the thing, right? Even we don't remember where we left them all. I mean, they're invisible, hey? No way to say them, hey? Anyway, eggs on our faces, but they're in them spots. I'm thinking that you ought to maybe jump around random like some enough. Soon enough, Blinko hit one. You're good at jumping, hey? That's why they call me Jumpman, you know what I'm saying, dude? Coins, coins, let's go buy some mushroom tea. You two are right embarrassing, shut it. Okay, you guys can go right then. Good luck, you lot. Find the other three parts, hey? And these guys are finally left. The hillbilly Koopas are gone, man. Finally. Never have to deal with them. And good thing they keep the circles uh, marked on the maps for me, so... That way, it just makes it a heck of a lot easier for me to go find the attack pieces there. I know it's going to probably take some time because I'm going to be jumping around looking for where the attack pieces might be. And I'm not going to end up doing it. But um, if not, then I'll probably just do it on my own time. But as you can see, this here is the front gate to Peach's Castle. And as per usual, it's blocked. Locked up tight, huh? Figures it wouldn't be easy. Of course not. Dude, it's Fawful we're talking about. He's not like Bowser or a Princess Shrew, man. Huh? And the back behind the castle, of course, there has to be doors, right? All right, there's an entry in the rear gardens. Let's go. Look at how he turned all of these Peach's statues into him. That's actually really nice. I like it. There's just something about Fawful, like, as a villain, that just, that, that I really like about him. Like, I actually enjoy Fawful as a villain compared to other villains. Like, Antasma. What, what the heck was an Antasma, dude? Antasma wasn't anything compared to Fawful, man. I'm just saying. Same with, like, uh, the Bean Bean Queen. Or, or, no, the Bean Bean Queen wasn't really much of a, well, she was a normal person who was turned into a villain, right? Uh, but who else was I thinking of? Cacletta? That thing? Oh gosh, remember that thing, Cacletta? That thing was weird. 
Okay, so I can't be here right now. This is a place only meant for Bowser. And I'm going to come back on my own time and battle these guys, so don't worry. Um, the battles that I will do with Bowser later today, I'll actually be obtaining the blitties that I can get from those enemies. Um, so that way I don't have to worry about them and I can show them off in the video. But besides that, uh, every one of these enemies I'm going to try my best to avoid. There's a ton of enemies in Peach's Castle Garden, which is really nice. So if you're looking to train or get extra EXP points, definitely head to Peach's Castle Garden because you'll definitely do a ton of wonders here. Make a ton of gains. Now, um, this is the vicinity of where... Dude, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's probably not even worth looking for them right now. Just because I know I'm going to spend way too much time in that whole, like, little Koopa segment. That Koopa segment pushed me back on schedule, so now I have to make up for the lost time. But anyways, the idea here uh, in Peach's Castle Garden, you can't explore it. There's not really a whole lot going on down here besides beans and, like I said, attack pieces and a couple nice items here and there. And by items, I just mean boxes filled with tons of coins. Uh, but really what you want to do is you want to make your way to the back of Peach's Castle Garden because there there will be an entrance into the castle and that is the only way uh, that we can get into the castle. Now, unlike any other Mario and Luigi game that you've seen me play or that you've played yourself, this one is different because Bowser's actually going to be the one that's in command for the majority of the time that we're here in Peach's Castle, which is nice. Doesn't really make it seem like a Mario and Luigi game, but it's really nice how they actually give Bowser the opportunity to do stuff uh, rather than Mario and Luigi having the spotlight all the time. Time. Uh, so we got a retry clock. I've gotten so many of these things throughout my history of this uh, LP and I don't think I've used as many as I should have. I've only used once and that was on that uh, giant battle with Bowser. It's because I screwed up. It was a timed battle too. It's not like I died. It was a timed battle and I forgot how to play the battle so I ended up screwing up. But uh, we're actually going to learn also how these walls work because we've seen them throughout all of the Mushroom Kingdom for the longest time now and we really didn't know what they did. People always thought that Mario and Luigi could dig underneath them, which they weren't wrong about. Most of them actually gave you the ability to dig underneath and go from one area to the next. But they're actually intended for something completely different, which we're going to find out later today. And Jesus, man, these things need to chill. I need to find my way. I think I found my way. I found my way, guys, back to the back of Princess Peach's garden. Old school Mario and Luigi, guys. It's been a solid two game. Well, no, no. Well, it's been a solid two games since Mario's actually done this. Baby Mario, however, has done this in Partners in Time, but in Superstar Saga, Mario's the only one that was doing that. So it's it's back. It's good to see that back uh, in the game, even though it's at the end of the game. It's still good to see it back. We're actually going to be needing to do something like that in uh, Toad Town in one of the houses for I think either it's beans. Yeah, that's right. I was going to say attack pieces, but I'm like, wait, I collected all the attack pieces. Nothing but trash. That's where pe uh. Fawful throws his trash, am I right? Hey, it's Midbus! You are famous, Red and Green. This castle now belongs to Fawful. You go no farther than how far you are. Wait a second! Oh, never mind. I was thinking for a second right now. Midbus and Fawful were only just attacking Bowser. They had nothing to do with Mario and Luigi. Because Mario and Luigi were inside of Bowser this entire time. So for all they knew... Mario and Luigi were missing, but then I remember that Fawful was the one that gave Bowser that mushroom that absorbed everything, so he intentionally wanted Bowser to absorb Mario and Luigi, which makes perfect sense now. So, I guess this is our first mid bus encounter. What are you? Do you w have a KO wish? I don't think he does. He can easily take us all out. You assume me? I have fought Bowser. You are much smaller. Well, bring it on, then. Come on, give us your best shot. Can you shut up? You speak rudely, and I permit it just this once. Soon Dark Star awakes, and soon means later. Try to interfere with it and taste my wrath. We're not interfering with the Dark Star, man. We're just interfering with Fawful. The Dark Star is okay. We don't have a problem with that. Besides Fawful trying to use it for evil. He is of trash, and you are. You trash. I call you trash. Go be trashy in this trash hole with the trashy robot forever. Go, super ultra great mega trashy monster junker bot. Take on Mario and Luigi with my remote control. It's dead. Your toy doesn't even work, man. What? Nothing. Move, move, super junk. Okay, there you go. It's, it's moving again, but it's dancing. No one press dance. You are broken. And it broke. So in a situation like this, would Mizbus would have actually attacked us if the thing didn't go through? Oh, well, good. Now you work. Trash these trash men. I don't know, man, but thankfully this thing worked. So now we can take on another boss in this game known as, I believe these things are called, or it's called Junker. 
Now, um, believe it or not, that after this boss, there are only four more bosses left in the game. Well, technically five if you want to count the giant boss battle, but four more actual bosses left in the game. Uh, two of which that we're going to be doing with Mario, or three of which we're doing with Mario and Luigi, and then uh, three of which we're doing with Bowser. Uh, there's one boss that's kind of like a double boss. One's done with Bowser, and then the other half is done with Mario and Luigi, but it's technically considered one boss. That's at least what I like to think. But anyways, this guy is pretty easy. He has 1,445 HP. Now, uh, with my new badge ability, I'm just going to wait till I get excellent hits, and then try to attack him as best as I can with... Um... Oh, wait. That wasn't an excellent hit. Okay, never mind. I guess I'll just do Spin Pipe. Spin Pipe does some massive damage, man. Okay, it's a really nice move. I actually think this might be, in fact, my favorite bro's move. And then that's a Mario. And then that's going to be a Mario. Okay, and then that's going to be a Luigi. And that's going to be a Luigi. Look at that. I'm doing some nice damage. Luigi again. Okay. Uh-oh. I think my I, that's Mario. I think I lost my eye. Okay, that's Luigi. Okay, and that's Mario again. Nice. 368 damage. What the heck, my boy? That is a lot of damage, guys. I seriously was not expecting that. Oh, and by the way, when this stuff happens, you just kind of want to jump uh, wherever the thwomp is not located at. So if you do, unfortunately, have the misfortune of ending up underneath the, thwomp, the thwomp, you're just going to have to take the damage. Nothing really else you could do about it. But let's go ahead and, first of all, do this. I'm going to use this to get some nice uh, super strikes with Mario and Luigi. And then we're just going to use the snack basket because it's honestly one of the best uh, special attacks that we have for Mario and Luigi. Um, considering that it's a super easy attack to do. And on top of it, it does a tremendous amount of damage. And it attacks everybody on the field, not just one person specifically, like the jump helmet, for example. So it's, it's a really nice move to do, especially if you know how to do it. Super, super easy, by the way. The only thing that I would say is difficult is just that. And then you just double body slam, dealing 435 damage just on one of those things. I don't even think the trash cans have that much. The trash cans don't even have more than 100 damage, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, see how, how much damage that did. It did a lot of damage, right? No, I guess we can go ahead and do yu -Hoo Cannon. Why the heck not? I mean, he's almost dead. Anyways, I'm just going to try to fill up my gauge thing again. Oh, God. I wasn't paying... I, I don't remember where that last Mario was. Yep, that was Luigi. I literally forgot where last Mario was, but still. I clean 103 damage. Um. Oh, God. What is he doing? I don't remember much about this battle, to be honest. Oh, he put me in a trash bin. All right, cool. All right, so now I guess I have to wake Luigi out of this trash bin. I was reading one time this story on the news about how this kid hit himself in a trash bin and then when the trash truck, the dump truck came around, uh, the kid was still in the trash bin and he ended up like getting squashed and killed. And the thing is like the, the people in the dump truck that were doing that thing, you know, the daily trash stuff. <laughs> I sound really stupid as I'm saying it, but uh, they knew the kid was in there, but they, at that point when they, like, started the machine, they couldn't do anything to stop it. Because once it started, I guess it didn't stop. So then the guy just ended up getting squished to death. It was so, like, scary thinking, like, that's actually what happened to the guy. That must have sucked, man. Nothing you could do about it. And as those guys, it must have honestly sucked, too. Because, like, they knew they couldn't do anything about it. Oh, I, was I not supposed to jump on the rock? Okay, can Luigi get out of this thing, man? Can you free my brother now? Thank you. I'm wasting time. Um, what the heck is wrong with these guys? I literally don't even know any of their attacks, man. Okay, there we go. Nice. I need to do one of those... Uh... Oh my gosh, how many attacks does this thing have? And why is there a cheap cheap? And why is there a ball bomb, dude? And why is there another cheap cheap? And why is there another ball bomb, dude? Nice, dude. Seriously, four freaking attacks, man. Four attacks. Four attacks to my one attack, dude. Nice. Do another one. You should have done, like, three more. I feel like you didn't have as many attacks that you deserved, man. I feel like he deserved, like, three, four more attacks, and then it would have been good. Maybe five, you know, because he's just an awesome boss like that, that he needed to attack me six times. Like, how many of these things is he going to spawn? Look at that. This is legitimately bullcrap. How many boss, How many attacks is he going to get? Like, straight up. I'm actually, like, kind of upset about this. At the fact that he's getting so many attacks in comparison to me. Okay, finally, thank you for blessing me with an attack. Like, I finally get blessed with another attack. You know how long it's been since I've used my excellent meter? It's been a minute. It's been a long time, dude. 
And now I still haven't even had it like halfway filled up. And that's because this stupid trash bin's been attacking. And it's been it's been doing a terrible job because it hasn't been able to kill me yet. So I'm just kind of waiting it out, stalling it. And I think the best way to go about now is just doing this attack to get rid of the stupid trash bins in the back. But the only problem is they're going to attack me because they all have little fun surprises. Look at that. How did that do more damage on the trash bins than the actual boss? Okay, just, just calm down, dude. Seriously, we're not, we're not looking to play this game, dude. Oh my god, this is so weird. I can't... There's no sense of depth perception. There we go. Another one of these? Come on, dude. Okay, just wait for it. There we go. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. There we go. So whenever it looks at me, I guess, is when I'm supposed to do that. Okay, I guess we'll do one of these because these do like 300 damage, especially if I do them correct. So Luigi starting off. It's going to be Luigi. Okay, what else do we got? Mario. Luigi again. Luigi again. Luigi again. Alright, we're on a good track. Mario. Oh god, I lost my I lost it. Okay, Mario maybe? Okay, thank goodness. Okay, Luigi. There we go. Not bad. 364 damage, and we finally destroyed him. I knew he didn't have that much HP left, considering the first couple attacks that I did were just really powerful attacks, and they took a lot of his uh, HP away. But it was just that last phase where he just stalled so hard, and I guess he ended up screwing me up. Uh, technically, I wasn't screwed up, though. I was still doing good. It was just a lot of stallment, which I hated. 137, not bad. 1337 is the number that I was looking for, though. Okay, so, um... For Luigi, I guess I'll give him speed. I absolutely hate it when I battle with Mario and Luigi, and then Mario attacks, enemies attack, Luigi's attack, and then Mario attacks again. I just, I would rather have Mario, Luigi, and then the enemies attack. And the only way I could do that is if Luigi's speed is up to par with Mario's, which I guess is going to take some time. Bowser, his safe got tossed into the junk depository. Huh? You think we ought to return to Bowser's body? Right, he might stand a better chance storming the castle. Let's go! Is Bowser free? What? The trash thing just ditched us. Did Midbus destroy it? Wait, what? Wait, what just happened, man? I can't tell if Midbus destroyed the thing or not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Wow, well that sucks. Oh, it broke the gate. Remember guys how uh, a couple episodes ago I showed you where you can enter and exit out of Bowser's uh out of Bowser's body to Peach's castle and whatnot? Well the gates are on these are broken now. And then this little gate can now be taken away just by hitting that switch. Wait, I, I kind of feel like there's something... Nope, there isn't anything outside. I'll, I'll do a video just kind of exploring Peach's castle, maybe. Maybe depending on how much time I have and how much, like, how fast I could, I could get quickly through these uh, episodes. But if not, then, yeah, we're not going to explore Peach's castle. Hey, can you hear me? I need your advice. Ow, ow, man. Ow, my back hurts. Back? You hurt your back? Yeah, he was stuffed into a, uh, a safe. Imagine being stuffed into something way smaller than you are, like a little cage, man. I can't move at all. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Do, do something now. I mean, do something, please. Oh, for crying out loud, you're such a pain. All right, so I think where we need to go now is in the lumber nook. All right, let's go ahead and, and visit the lumber. Hey, it's Toadsworth. Well, fancy meeting you here, Masters Mario and Luigi. Whatever brings you two to a place like this, hmm? It's quite odd for some reason this place soothes my soul. Oh, I feel rather at home, like it's my very own room. Why is that, ba uh, or Toadsworth? What is that you say Bowser hurt his back? Ah, and you intend to heal it in this place. Yeah, we do. Now that you mention it, the floor here did just darken and became rather hard. No doubt Bowser's back injury is the cause. Are you a doctor now too? Ah, indeed, quite right! This strange protrusion appeared only moments ago, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> what are you talking about, man? Shall we attempt to stimulate this spot? Dalio! I am Gandalf! You shall not pass! Put my stick in your back! Rather too small an instrument to effect change, I'm afraid. 
Oh, 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 oh. Perhaps I'd best simply leave you masters to it. Hmm? I shall observe from a safe distance. I hereby see the leadership to Master Mario and Luigi. Stimulate that protrusion and your utmost vim and vigor. All right, Luigi, let's go, man. Let's do it. The only way he, we can stimulate this thing is by digging so far deep into it. We gotta bury ourselves into it. Oh, -ho! I dare say it's working. Yes, slowly working. Hey, it's Toadboard. Toadsworth, Pat Boogery, I was looking for you. Ah, Master Toadboard, rather a stupendous time to arrive. Masters Mario and Luigi are drilling below as we speak. Yes, it is a standard slow back stimulation operation. Really? That sounds fascinating, Pat Boogery. You mind if I watch as I slowly work... You want? You mind if I watch as it slowly works its magic? Not at all, man. Come back. S sit back and, you know, have some tea with me. You know, enjoy this. Let me tell you a couple stories about my past when I was a young little toes worth serving the baby princess. Be my guest. In my experience, it takes a long time to slowly stimulate at the back. I would know from first hand. Why not rest one finger in it? <laughs> I and enjoy some tea. Are you kidding me? I was joking when I said that. I didn't know he's actually going to pull out a freaking pot of tea that's warm. Oh, my boy has a freaking cup in his diaper, too. All right, you toads are very convenient. Ah, Toadsworth, your tea never fails to calm me down. Tea time is so restful. Quite right. Tea time is for taking a break from all cares. I shall set my alarm to alert us when Bowser is back as yield. Until then, drink some more tea, do some proper stretching, and let your cares melt off. One mustn't ever rush. It is vital if you're... It is vital to reflect occasionally on whether one is overdoing whatever is one doing. Indeed, slow. Alright, why not put the DS system down and take a short tea break? And they legitimately mean that. Once Bowser's back is better, Toadsworth alarm will ring. And now we just gotta wait it out. We gotta sit here for probably a solid, I wanna say, minute or two. Waiting for them to sip on their tea. Because it's actually being realistic right now. Like, we all know you can't sip tea in like 10 seconds like they do in this game. You know, Mario and Luigi, they buy royalty and they're, they're just... How do they drink it that quickly, man? I like, you know, taking my tea and, and enjoying it. Drinking it nice and slowly. Even though, I don't know why I'm telling you guys. This doesn't matter, man. But these guys are just chilling there, man. This is, this is so weird. Bowser's grabbing onto his buttocks. And these guys are just sitting inside him drinking tea. Oh, Mario Universe, you never fail to, uh, to make me feel uncomfortable, man. I'm just kidding. This is nice. I'd totally be in there with Toadsworth right now. Sipping on some tea and some crumpets, man. Eating some crumpets. And fun fact, guys, Toadsworth is actually supposed to be British. Yep, he's supposed to be English. Well, not really British, but English. He's supposed to have an English accent. So, instead of him talking like this, my friend, all the time, he's supposed to talk with an English accent. How mind-blowing is that? I knew of that all the time, considering the mustache, the monocle, him being kind of like a, a butler, and the way he speaks and he says things. It just made it super obvious. But I like giving him an Indian accent to make him feel different. Original, you know? But jeez, Bowser, this back is taking forever to heal, my boy. Just, just, just make it snappy. Do your thing, man. Do your magic and just wake up. Just wake up, man. Bzzz. It's time to wake up, dude. Wake up, dude! Bowser, come on! Let's go! Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said it would take like three minutes. It actually does take some time. I think we're almost there though, because like... We've stimulated so much of Bowser's back that he should be golden. And those are all like little muscle pockets. Just little pockets of fat muscle and whatnot. Now I can't even see Toadbert and Toadsworth. They're, they're, are they drinking tea still or did they finish? Maybe they're kissing right now. That'd be pretty weird to watch. But I'd watch it. It's better than watching Bowser's back. Yo! We did it! Yo, we did it, guys. Hey! Mario and Luigi, you guys are back! Ow, my back! It loosens up! It's loosening up! Oh, yeah, baby! Limber as ever! Don't get too excited or you'll throw it out of whack again. I'll stretch if I wanna. Besides, I feel even better than I normally do. Check this out. Bowser learned a new move. It's super flexible. I can do this now. He can roll around in a ball. Mr. Mario, Mr. Luigi. I suspect that Bowser has learned the spike ball move. What is that? That what? Yeah, by boogity, by stimulating the spot, we've made his muscles loosen and incredibly limber. So now he can curl up into a spike ball? 
Correct! You simply switch the action icon with R and activate it with X. Hey up there! How's that spike ball working out for you? So awesome! I just change action icons with R and then activate it with X. It's great! Okay, so we know how to do it. R X. R X. Our ex-girlfriend is this ball. That's what it is. I can roll over spikes and stuff with the D-pad and it doesn't hurt. And the spikes stick to soft dirt walls so I can climb up them. That's what these soft dirt, the dirt wall, dirt walls. I said dirt wall. Soft dirt walls are for, man. Bowser can now climb these mother things, dude. So, uh, Chippy, where am I? You're in Peach's castle. Peach's castle? Whoa, how did I end up here? Listen, Peach is being held somewhere in the castle. The Dark Star is awakening. You need to find Princess Peach as fast as you can. You don't need to tell me that. I owe that Fawful big time. I'll get Peach back. So how do I get inside? This junk heap reeks. Better use my new move to get out. And the only way you can get out is by climbing this wall. So now that we are done with this part, Bowser and Mario and Luigi can pretty much do whatever they want. But I'm going to just focus and stick with the story because that's honestly what's more important here right now. And Bowser's new move can actually break a ton of things. And look at that. The next, I think that's the final Chack Road piece uh, in the game for Bowser. But there's also another item that I wanted to buy with Bowser. It's more so of a, uh, a item that helps him... Uh, with his, uh, with his defense. And I think this guy sells it. Yeah, it's called the Dream Shell. Look at that. By 90. It's currently 234. I can bring it up to 224. I'm gonna buy it for 2400 coins. Easily worth it, man. And then I'm gonna get equipped it. And then Bowser is now super beefed up and tanky. Best thing Brook Monsieur has ever sold me so far. Please get a star. Oh, it's a mushroom, man. Couldn't even get a flower. Just lost so much coins, man. Only 10% back on this thing. All right, whatever. It's all good. I'm not going to complain about it. It's all good. Order, please. Now we're good. See you later, Brook Monsieur. But, uh, yeah, now that we activated this, we can uh, make our way to any place around the Mushroom Kingdom. The last place was, in fact, Peach's Castle, I believe. I don't think there's anyone for Toad Town for Bowser, just because Toad Town is such an easy place to get to. Um, so I don't think there's going to be one for Toad Town. But, yeah, um... I don't know what I want to do, honestly, at this point on in the game. Uh, I feel like I should end off the episode now, um, but I feel like I should also make it inside of Peach's Castle so that way you guys see it and what it looks like. Look at that. This is Peach's Castle, guys. Pretty crazy, huh? Doesn't even look like Peach's Castle, dude. They put so much security up in here that it's ridiculous, man. It reminds me a lot of Shroob Castle in uh, Partners in Time. It's the same thing, dude. Dark, gloomy, just very ominous, weird. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like how a castle should be like. You know what I mean? Uh, but look at that. A nice portrait of Peach. This is like, I believe, the lobby area. Oh gosh, these things are sleeping. We're gonna avoid them for now, and we're gonna start battling them in the next episode. Yo, what are these? Three little Fawful Copters with keys. Fawful Copters? Oh, hey, look what happened. Bowser's in Peach's castle. You were so full of yourselves. Told you I'd make it here. Fawful won't lie. Fawful has shock at you getting here. But that shock turns into Chortle as you stop here. There are doors here that need keys, and Fawful has them. You will wander forever in my modified castle of Peach until you cry from lack of doors. I'll break them down. You have energy like a little angry battery with no friends. But even if you get past the doors, the castle of Peach. Oh, but I have secrecy, Fawful say no more. Are you catching my Fawful Copters? Now we gotta go play a game chasing the Fawful Copters with the key. But we're gonna be doing that in the next episode, guys. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit me with a like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.